Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. Here we go, let's start the show. No stick by Mr. T. Nintendo video games, all the favorite ones for me. Music review, some gameplay too. Battle and drones is what I do. Is it? Is it I am just the show by Mr. T. It's the show by Mr. T. Hey there, fools. Big T here, and I'm back with another video. And this video is on one of my favorite franchises of all time from Nintendo, and that is Star Fox. I love Star Fox. Um, I pretty much own every game, which we're going to look over here during this video. And uh, this video is called uh, How to Save Star Fox. Now, obviously, save is in quotations. It's being a little facetious but um, perhaps Star Fox does need saving at this point and uh, I was hoping that you know Star Fox was going to be uh, was going to evolve into the game that I wanted it to be and I, th I think it needed to be uh, with Star Fox Zero and uh, we didn't obviously get that and uh, so let's check, take a quick look here at you know, Star Fox Zero. Obviously, this is Star Fox Guard. It's the game that came with it. Um, it's kind of a uh, collection of like security mini games based in Star Fox. You know, with Slippy, um, and pretty fun, very fun. Uh, not too many people talk about this, um, and that may have to do with the, uh, I guess, disappointment of uh, Star Fox Zero for a lot of people. But uh, yeah, Star Fox Guard was pretty cool. Nice addition to this game, Star Fox Zero. And uh, like I said, Star Fox Zero is a really good game. Um, I know there's a lot of people that have problems with the uh, the motion controls, the forced uh, gamepad, uh, cockpit stuff, or whatever. Um, I did not. Um, I found it to be interesting, but it wasn't interesting enough. And I think after um, the initial glee wore off of getting a new Star Fox game and one that uh, is basically a reimagining of my favorite Star Fox game, uh, Star Fox 64, um, once that wore off, it was like, all right, well, this isn't really the game that I was hoping for. And I actually did a video before Star Fox Zero released. I implore you to go check it out. It's one of my favorite videos on the channel. It's a mini documentary about the Star Fox series. Um, please go check that out. I'll leave a link um, annotation. So I want you to go check that out. Uh, you don't have to before this, but you, you kind of might want to because um, Star Fox Zero um, was not in the video. I talked about what the next Star Fox would be because we didn't know at the time of me making that video what uh, Star Fox Zero was going to be. Um, and I talked about what I wanted. And I think what I wanted still uh, matters as far as what I believe uh, Star Fox's direction should be. But first, before we get into that, let's look at my Star Fox games. Like I said, I believe I own every Star Fox game so uh, here we have uh, the original classic itself uh, the original Star Fox with the good old FX chip logo um, classic uh, <clears throat> then we have Star Fox 2 now this is obviously a uh, reproduction cart uh, this game never came out on Star or never came out on Super Nintendo it got canceled, but it was finished, and it recently, obviously, was ported over to the uh, Super Nintendo Classic Mini, which is awesome. And like I showed you before, here we go with Star Fox 64, which is my favorite of the series. May have something to do with the fact that it's on my favorite console of all time, but favorite of the series. And then we move into my not so favorite of the series, to really no fault of his own, Star Fox Adventures. Um, it was, like I said before, it's kind of a shallow, uh, Zelda clone, uh, with some kind of shoehorned 
flight stuff from Star Fox put in here. Uh, but um, <clears throat> this isn't really a Star Fox game, even though it says Star Fox. <laughs> um, so I don't hold too much against it. It was fun, you know, while I played it. Um, not very memorable as far as puzzles or dungeons or even boss battles, but it was okay. And then we have Star Fox Assault, which is what I believe is the direction this game needs to, or this series needs to go in. It needs to continue in the direction that this game started. I'll get back to this in a minute, but it'll it needs to continue in the direction that this game started. Um, I really like this game. There are some elements of this game that I pretty much hate it. <laughs> and again, it wasn't the, the gameplay mechanics itself, but like I said, I'll get into that in a second. And then we have the next Star Fox game, which is Star Fox Command. Um, I really like this game. I think this is the first game that had uh, co-op. Um, uh, not co-op, but uh, online multiplayer. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a, such a long time since I played this game. Uh, so it had multiplay and download play. I know there was something to do with online on here. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it had online dogfights. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember. But anyway, Star Fox Command, um, which is a game I really like, and. Then we move on to uh, the <clears throat> the uh, not HD <laughs> version, but the uh, remastered version of Star Fox 64. Uh, this version is fantastic. It looks really good, uh, especially in 3D on uh, my new 3DS XL. Uh, but this game is awesome. Like I said, Star Fox 64 is my favorite, and this remaster of it is really good really cool so and obviously the last one we got was uh, Star Fox Zero so but let's get back to what I think Star Fox uh, should go and it's in the direction of this game now the problem is there is so much jank <laughs> in this game that I think Nintendo thought we didn't want this kind of Star Fox game. You didn't want the new elements that this game brought. And it couldn't be further from the truth. This is the direction that Star Fox needs to go in. Um, with some nuance. And I'm going to talk about the nuance. Uh, the problem with this Star Fox Assault is that um, it had a kind of rough development cycle. Um, if you know behind the scenes stuff about it. Uh, uh, Bandai, uh, I don't know if they were Bandai yet, but Namco uh, developed this game for Nintendo. And let's talk about the great stuff that this game did and brought to Star Fox. Um, I mean, Star Fox kind of already had like epic music, but it was epic orchestrated music in this game. And it was great. It was amazing. It was epic. Um, and I loved it. Uh, also, it brought deeper story elements to the game. Um, it wasn't just, oh, fly to this planet and do this basically side quest or do this mission. There was more to it. And while you were doing your mission, you were talking or going back and forth with your uh, team. And so things would change within the mission itself to where you had to adapt. And that, again, is a good thing. It adds depth to Star Fox. Because, you know, most people think of Star Fox, they think of rail shooter, uh, 3D rail shooter on rails. And uh, that's mostly true. Uh, but there is some, you know, all range mode stuff, so you can fly freely in Star Fox. And that's where it needs to go more. Um, you can still do some on rail stuff for, I think, specific stuff. Uh, specific. Um, we call it uh, missions in the game like you're doing some kind of trench thing or something like that that's fine uh, but I think it needs to evolve into what this game was doing and to me the coolest things about this game was the uh, the freedom 
you could be in a mission on foot then you can go over and hop into your landmaster tank or you're gonna go over and hop into your R wing and fight in the sky and that is awesome and that's where this game needs to go um, but it just needs to be a lot better <laughs> than the execution of Star Fox Assault that's the problem with Star Fox Assault the execution uh, the ideas and the gameplay mechanics were great but the execution was not and one of the problems is there wasn't enough polish between the different elements like with your landmaster and especially especially with uh, your your land missions your on foot missions uh, when you're running around as Fox or uh, another team member that is the biggest problem um, the controls were not good the idea was good but the controls weren't good um, and they need to be rectified to more modern standards but it's just good standards um, uh, there was no aim assist I think this game needs some kind of aim assist like a lock on feature um, Star Fox itself does kind of have that, but it wasn't really good. Like I said, it had all the elements were there, but they just weren't executed well. Um, and I really liked the epic nature of this game. Now it was it got confusing sometimes in the missions. Like I said, the polish needs to be there. It has to be the structure needs to be there. But this game was a really good step in the right direction because it it gave I keep hate hate to use this word, but it, I mean it does apply to this type of game. It did happen on this epic grand scale and there was intricacies to each mission and it wasn't just like fly to this planet and dogfight and kill off these little whatever creatures and stuff it, it needs to have more story elements and dare I say story elements <clears throat> like you get in Star Fox Adventures where there's like you're interacting with other characters um, there's, it's more deep than just you know you're talking on your radio or the, they're going back and forth to you on your radio about how great you're doing flying, you know, um, which is fine, which is fine for the time especially, but I think going forward there needs to be more depth with interaction between, uh, you know, whatever character you're using in NPCs, and like I said, whatever character you're using, you should be able to pick from anybody in the Star Fox team. That has to be a thing. Yes, even Slippy. <laughs> Some people will will use Slippy, um, and I think each character. Uh, and the game has to have their own attributes like um, Fox will obviously be the all well-rounded character who can do pretty much everything maybe doesn't master anything except for being a leader and then you can have uh, good old Falco here uh, be like a really ace pilot you know hothead that you know obviously his character you know he does things that he probably shouldn't but you know he he'll have um, really good piloting skills or something on you know higher on that scale and then maybe he's lower in leadership or whatever you know that kind of thing whatever RPG elements or attributes you can add to him you know just like they do with like Mario Karts or any other game that has um, multiple characters and you know they weigh strengths and weaknesses um, and obviously Slippy or and like I said and Peppy toad and maybe even add in some other characters you know let's dig into the lore of Star Fox a little bit more and uh, make that be a thing but it should also add elements of one of my favorite N64 games Jet Force Gemini um, Jet Force Gemini almost got the control the on foot control scheme that you need um, for a Star Fox game obviously it's dated um, it had issues with some of the targeting stuff as well, um, but we're in 2018 now, so a lot of those problems shouldn't be a thing. And Nintendo definitely has the designers to make this happen. So that's what I want to see um, from your on-foot stuff. Uh, you had, uh, you know, a cool character walking around futuristic alien worlds. Um, you know, battling hordes of, um, uh, like, robot, what do you call those things, uh, drones, like robotic drones, and just other 
um, on foot enemies and stuff like that that's what this game needs more of um, you know Star Fox on foot going against Android or androids <laughs> Andros is a um, uh, simian <laughs> simian minions you know and have it because this game is so epic um, I, I always talk about this game I love it to death it's one of my favorite games of all time especially one of my favorite games on my favorite console of all time the N64 uh, Jet Force Gemini has all that epicness you need really cool memorable boss battles uh, very cool world with uh, nice upgrades and all that stuff this is also uh, what you need to meld into Star Fox to save it and progress it and uh, make it um, relevant today in today's gaming culture and world uh, so there are things in Jet Force Gemini that um, definitely should be picked up for uh, the next Star Fox for on foot stuff like that so um, like I said uh, oh not this uh, Star Fox Zero Star Fox Zero like I said its biggest problem is that it counted way too much to this game you know it relied way too much Star Fox Zero relied way too much on this game so it didn't have its own identity and it certainly wasn't a game about progressing Star Fox and making it uh, what it needed to be for the future of uh, Star Fox franchise so uh, but it was a really good game I really liked it um, but Star Fox Zero like I said is the way Nintendo needs to go so like I said it needs to be a big adventure free um, to some degree it doesn't have to be an open world but it has to be like a semi open world think of like um, you know the mini worlds of uh, Super Mario Odyssey so Fox, you know, he lands in an area on a planet. Um, you know, he doesn't have free reign of the entire planet, but he lands in a specific area on the planet. Um, he has to battle on foot, uh, Jet Force Gemini style. He battles on foot, and then he also, um, you know, during those missions, he's interacting with his other crew members. Um, there should definitely be some kind of co-op between at least him and another character, maybe Falco. Falco would be the only other interesting on-foot character you would want. Um, and so maybe you'd have certain missions um, with, you know, Pepe, or Pepe, Pepe and uh, Slippy, but it would be specific missions, like, you know, stuff that you um, would have to do with them because of their specific skills. And, uh, you know, being able to just, like, get in your R wing and fly up to the great fox and get your upgrades like that would be so cool like just being able to get in your R wing uh, or j even between missions just you know you fly into the great fox uh, and you you do upgrades to your ship you upgrade your weapons you upgrade your stats or whatever you have to do like that is where star fox needs to go um, and like I said, so you have these little mini areas, you know, Super Mario Odyssey style areas where you're on foot and you get to a segment where you need your landmaster. You know, you can't I can't get through this without my landmaster. And so you, you know, call to the great fox to drop down your landmaster. Beautiful. Um, same thing. You get to an area where, oh, you're being attacked from the sky. Um, sure, you can try to take him out with your landmaster a little bit but it's easier to get up in the sky and dogfight and so you add that element in where um, you, you uh, get into um, you send, have your R wing sent down by Great Fox uh, by, um, by Rob and uh, you hop into your R wing and you go up into the sky of that area and dogfight and then you have like you know underground uh, missions um, inside the base missions you know where you're on foot um, and Star Fox Assault has that kind of stuff where you're on foot inside a base and then you have to jump into your R wing and help your guys out in the sky like I said this game was there it just it had too much jank <laughs> it had way too much like control jank and I, that's the that's the only reason that I think Star Fox didn't continue on this path 
Um, and I really like the art, dis uh, art design too. The uh, art style in this game was good. Maybe a little too insectoid uh, with some of the ship design, but um, I really did like where this game was going. So you take this core here, mash it up with some Jet Force Gemini on foot, um, co-op, uh, being able to select your character, at least, at least Falco, at least be able to select Falco um on you know from a select screen pick who you want and definitely obviously online dog fights everybody's wanted that we need that that needs to be a thing so let's make that happen we need to make that happen that has to be a thing so yeah let, let me know what you guys think do you think i'm on to something here this is the direction that star fox should go in uh, like i said you can still implement core on rail stuff but i don't think it need i don't think it should be the main gist of star fox going forward i think the action adventure kind of hybrid of being able to jump in vehicles and deal with these little worlds you know think of even like metroid uh you know when you land on a planet obviously you're stuck in uh, a certain path but you were able to traverse you know up ground above ground below ground into these bases and whatnot um, but have it be more action oriented, way more action oriented with RPG building mechanics. Yes, I think a game like Star Fox, um, with all of its cool tech and all that stuff, needs, um, you know, uh, RPG building elements in it um, to give it more meat and not just be a space on rail shooter because that's not enough t today for a big. Uh, uh, a big uh, outing from a, uh, uh, a developer, a big company like Nintendo or any company. Like it, it, it's fine for like you know an indie game today, um, or just above an indie game as far as uh, budget and scope. But for a full-on core, great ex gaming experience, Star Fox needs to meld. The, the direction it was going with Star Fox Assault, squish in some Star Fox Adventures story elements, along with the story elements stuff that they were already doing in Assault, and squeeze in some Jet Force Gemini, and have it make a baby, put it in a pot, have it make a baby, and give us the future of uh, Star Fox. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think this is a good idea? Um, and obviously, like I said, the online aspect should be uh, important. You know, just let me know what you guys think about my ideas here um, for Star Fox. I feel like Star Fox Assault, like I said, was a step in the right direction. And I believe, um, you know, it's the way to go for the future. Of Star Fox you still have the core of Star Fox you still have the characters now you get to flesh them out now you get to explore the worlds of Star Fox a little more which is something I always wanted to do explore the Lilat system um, exploration is uh, I think a, a would be a key element to these games being able to walk around in these worlds and not be pushed along a path um, you know uh, that is the way I think star fox should go so yeah let me know what you what you think in the comments below thank you again guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like i said go watch my uh, star fox a series retrospective i will leave an annotation for you to uh, click on that link and go check out that video it's a nice watch it's like i said one of my favorite videos on this channel favorite videos doing i really enjoyed making it so go check it out if you haven't seen it already and uh, thanks for watching and listening, and I'll uh, see you folks next time. Peace out. Let's go, team.